Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, committed to conservation and careful management of the state's forests to make them more resilient and better habitats for wildlife. Choosewood.com. From St. Louis Public Radio. This is the Politically Speaking Hour on St. Louis on the Air. I'm Jason Rosenbaum. Welcome back to the Politically Speaking Hour on St. Louis on the Air. I'm Jason Rosenbaum. Since exploding into the fashion world in the late 2000s and throughout the 2010s, Carly Kloss had a wildly successful career as a model. But the Webster Groves native is truly multidimensional. She started an organization that connects young women with coding, and along with her husband, Joshua Kushner, she's restarting the iconic Life magazine. Kloss was in town earlier this week in part to celebrate the naming of a section of Washington Avenue in her honor. She was also here to pursue one of her other passions, expanding abortion rights. During an exclusive interview with me, Kloss talked about her advocacy. But first she talked about why she is passionate about abortion rights, including how in her early 20s, she learned how to be a clinic escort for Planned Parenthood patients who needed to make their way from the car to the building in what is often a hectic environment surrounded by abortion rights opponents. For me, I'm one of four daughters. I grew up here in the Midwest. My father's a physician. You know, the idea of reproductive care was was never political in my house. It's devastating to me the reality of what is happening and how it has become so politicized because to me this is a conversation that belongs between an individual and their physician and an individual and their loved ones. It is not, a, to me, it sh- politicians should not be involved. So you founded the Gateway Coalition, which my understanding is it supports independent abortion clinics, although I think it also yeah. helps out some smaller Planned Parenthood affiliates too. Yes. There, there's a lot of those facilities in Illinois who are probably being inundated with people from Mm. places like Missouri. What are you kind of hearing about whether the bans in places like Missouri and elsewhere is kind of overloading their capacity? Well, that was a huge catalyst for wanting to really focus on this. And I started Gateway Coalition even before Roe was overturned. But what I really realized, especially once Roe fell, was that the fragmentation of care across this country, but specifically in the Midwest, you know, at that time, Illinois was really the island of oasis in the middle of a desert, you know, that so many states, including Missouri, had a trigger law that went into effect. So six minutes after Roe was overturned, Missouri made abortion illegal. So anyone who needed life-saving care at any stage had to go across the state line into Illinois. And so for for me, you know, I, I wanted to do whatever I could and, and in, initially, you know, focused on Illinois of just the infrastructure that exists, the independent clinics, uh, the clinics across Illinois who are really holding up the front line and have been. Um, but this is an opportunity to take it to the ballot box and actually have Missourians Pre- reinstore protections in our home state so you don't have to leave Missouri to receive just the vital care that I believe every woman deserves. I'm interested to kind of hear, you said it's not political, but it does seem like people have very strong reactions to the concept of yeah. legal abortion. And w- what's kind of your impression about how people react to this issue? Well, it's no secret that there's uh, an enormous amount of bipartisan support. Many signatures and, and people showing up here today and organizing this effort are Republicans as well as Democrats. So, you know, for for me, even though I personally believe this should be a, in, a conversation between an individual and their physician, uh, we do have bipartisan support of of people across the aisle who believe that this is a human right. You know, to quote Secretary Clinton, women's rights are human rights. I believe reproductive rights are women's rights and therefore should be protected and respected. So let's shift to the petition. I think that in order for this to pass, if it gets enough signatures, you're not only going to have to convince people who feel very strongly abortion should be legal, but also people who have hesitancy about the concept of abortion, but do not like the current law in place. Did you run it? Did you talk to anybody 
who were, were like saying, I'm a Republican, but I don't yeah. like this ban when you were just there now? Or have yeah. you talked about that? Or have you, have you yes. heard that from people? And, and yes. what would be kind of your message to them about why they should vote for this? Well, I was even reading some of the coverage on a poll that you were reporting on. Uh, how I think it was, correct me if I'm misquoting you, but I believe it was 24% of Republican voters actually said that they supported access to abortion. And I believe access- that's correct. You are a very good St. Louis public radio <laughs> reader, but continue. I'm a big fan, but I appreciate uh, you know, that, that you're covering this. And I think a lot of people don't fit into, don't see this as a black and white issue. They see this as a human issue. And also, by the way, you know, the fact that there are, you know, the trigger ban that went into effect had no uh, no exceptions, which is, to me, that is just unacceptable. It's, it's to me, this is, this is so deeply human. I believe, you know, I'm one of four daughters. Like I said, my father's a physician. This is healthcare. This is an individual's choice of if and when they're ready to become a parent. And to me, that is, that should not be politicized. And, you know, and also, you know, I think that's why it matters to take this back to the voters, to actually allow voters to speak for themselves, despite their party. So there are a lot of other states which have similar either ballot items that are aimed at protecting abortion rights or trying to undo restrictions. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. There could be people in New York or California who are like, why should I care about what happens in Missouri or Mississippi Mm -hmm. or South Dakota? Like, we're red states. We're going to have no impact on the presidential race. You probably have encountered some of those folks before. But what what is the message to people across the nation about why people should pay attention about what's happening here? Well, I've galvanized a lot of support and involvement from individuals from the coasts who don't have roots back in the Midwest like I do, but understand or, or, or want to understand how they can help, even if it doesn't necessarily touch their life, which is what with Gateway Coalition we've really been doing is not only kind of connecting dots and helping access, you know, galvanize resources, but also just information, uh, galvanizing, you know, people to come together and learn from the the physicians or care providers who are here in the Midwest. Um, Jennifer Pepper is a phenomenal uh just leader and and she runs a clinic called Choices in Carbondale, Illinois. And I actually went to go visit her and see the clinic, which people travel from across the country to come to Carbondale, Illinois, because it is geographically the closest place to where they live. So people are coming from Texas or across the South or across the Midwest. And to me, it's it's so important and i think anyone it doesn't matter where you're from understands why it matters to have access to safe legal care near where you live this episode was produced by jason rosenbaum audio engineering and podcast design by aaron door our executive producer is alex hoyer st louis on the air is a production of st louis public radio Understanding starts here. St. Louis on the Air proudly supports local artists by using music from Life Creative Group. Do you find yourself regularly listening to episodes of St. Louis on the Air? Suggest us to a friend you think might enjoy our conversations. And leave us a review and rating on Apple Podcasts on the App Store. It's the simplest way to help people discover our show. Thank you. St. Louis Public Radio is a member-supported service of the University of Missouri-St. Louis. Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, providing more than 41,000 jobs in the production of wood pallets, railroad ties, white oak barrels, hardwood floors, and more. Details at ChooseWood.com.